Greetings Metal community, it's uh, Roger back with another uh, collection update. This time it's a haul from um, uh, Blood Harvest over in Sweden. Great label that do a lot of uh, cool, uh, you know, modern type of death metal. Like uh, Gutvoid from Canada. Uh, face a very familiar style of death metal. I just had to have the tape. I have ordered the vinyl as well, but that's not ready yet, so um, I will show that when it comes. But uh, the tape looks damn cool, so I um, ordered that as well. So that will be playing in the background. Great, great album. Um, very heavy. Um, even the fast parts are doomy. So uh, a fucking heavy album. Uh, another one I picked up is uh, a single of uh, the Cryptor, yes, the Cryptor and uh, Drakkar. Drakkar is uh, more well known. They released the excellent album two years ago. Yeah, it's good. It's not fantastic. It's good, but uh, it's just fun to have. Uh, it wasn't uh, very expensive. Again, Blood Harvest. Great uh, label uh, logo. Then we're going out to Poland, uh, a little bit in the same style, uh, you know, uh, the new uh, wave of uh, death metal, old school death metal. This is Clairvoyance uh, with um, Threshold of Nothingness. This is an EP. Came out, I think this came out this year. Uh, it comes with the OB strip as always. With um, Blood Harvest stuff. I can go and check uh, if there's any things. That no, uh, means it's timeless. And it might be, because this EP is fucking brilliant. Uh, I really dig this album. As I said, it's kind of, you know, uh, same style as Gut Void. Uh, but a little bit. Uh, not as heavy in the guitar sound as, as that was, but uh, some excellent tracks. Uh, the um, especially two last tracks of the first side here is brilliant. The Curse and uh, Chronicles of Epidas. Uh, great vocals, great production. Not too uh, clean, but uh, not too murky, which is important. Um, I have nothing uh, negative to say about this at all. It's just fucking brilliant. Um, I uh, play this a lot last couple of days so um go and check it out down below and um, give it a try if you like it if not that's okay but uh, i really enjoy this one then i bought an old um, reissue of um, crusher from uh, czechia this is um, death metal but more uh, kind of brutal but uh, grindy a little bit grind, uh, grind death. Uh, I do think a little bit about uh, Napalm Death when I hear this band. Uh, this is the second album from um, originally 2000. Uh, this is a 2012 reissue on um, Nasphere production. This is a limited, uh, my uh, 94 of 333. Uh, great stuff. Um, if you like that kind of, you know, death metal with a, with a good dose of grind, not all the time, but, but they do have like uh, parts when they kind of grind away a little bit more. So uh, yeah, pretty pretty brutal as well. So um, I really like this band. I do think the album from 96, uh, which I can't remember the title of, is uh, better than this, but uh, it's still a great album. I have not checked out their the last album, uh, they, they did release three albums. I think the last one came out in 2002. I don't know if they still are active band. I haven't checked that out, but uh, yeah. If you want uh, some death metal, old school sounding death metal with grind elements. And it's not a grindcore album or anything. It's just like, kind of like made from death to it, but uh, the vocals is more death metal than Barney's. And I bought this uh, Funeration Anathema comp from, uh, yeah, they're from Finland, Funeration Anathema, they 
they've changed their name. Game of Tapes 1991. Uh, yeah, it's good. I like this demo stuff, so it's good, but uh, you can buy this CD. You don't need to have this on vinyl because it doesn't help the sound at all. Uh, and kind of a long story about the whole process. Uh, this is very hard to read. Uh, it's, it's kind of. Yeah. There's no uh, stops between the lids. It's just going on. But um, yeah. Nothing to read if you're dyslectic. But as I said, finish death metal from the the early nineties. We know how it sounds, so uh, there's nothing there's nothing unique about it. It's just a, a solid demo band. And uh, but as I said, um, if you're looking for this, you can buy it on CD. Uh, it's, it's, you don't need the, the vinyl edition of it. But as I said, I, I like I collect a lot of these demos. Just think it's cool. Then we are going to Sweden, uh, Total Inferno, this is, uh, uh, according to Metal Christ, there's uh, uh, Speed Metal, Thrash Metal, Heavy Metal and Death Metal. Uh, the Death Metal I'm not so sure about, I would say they're more Black Metal uh, than Death Metal. Especially the first song here is very, kind of a um, Niflheim uh, meets... Um, yeah, Vatine or something, but there's a lot of thrashy and heavy metal riffs, uh, a lot of kind of uh, dual leads and, and stuff like that, so it's a pretty variated uh, album and a pretty cool one as well, that's kind of, I, I like to call this cool, pretty cool cover as well. So so if you like kind of Niflheim and stuff like that, that's not so far from what uh, Total Eternal is doing. I, I really enjoy this album. It's kind of not my thing. Uh, the vocals, I would say, are black metal vocals. Um, and, and that's kind of normally when it comes to black thrash, I'm not always on board, but this has so much cool guitar work on it. Uh, good sounding as well. Um, but as I said, the, the vocals are black metal. Um, the music are there are some black metal, uh, especially at, as I said the first song, but, but for the most part it's kind of speed, thrash and heavy metal riffing going on. And damn cool. Oh, fucking great riff. Just turning up a little. Great album. Links below. Go and check it out. And I bought a new Astral Tomb. This was a blind buy because uh, I bought a four-way split. It came out last year. I uh, had uh, this and uh, Cryptic Shift and some others. Uh, this is, as you can see, uh, Astral Tomb. But it's, uh, you know, this um, sci-fi uh, death metal. Um, stuff going on here. Um, I'm not sure about this album uh, yet because they are a bit too... Um, I don't know uh, how to put them, but you could kind of compare them to the slower parts of Blood Incantation. They're not very speedy and they do have some progressive elements and there, there are uh, at least two longer sequences here that are straightforward prog rock um, so it's very interesting uh, but I, I kind of feel that the vocals here are way too deep and, and kind of flat uh, and there's not a lot of it um, as you can see the, the lyrics here are short especially the first one um, I could have wanted him to kind of sing a little bit uh, higher up uh, because when he kind of just uses, there's no power in it, if you understand what I mean, um, but it's growing on me and, uh, and it's it's kind of very slow, but it's not doom, it's just, um, it's not that doom, it's just slow, uh, choggy, 
riffs on it, and then it goes on to some, yeah, floating sections as well, and there are some like the um, uh, time wave uh, release of, of uh, incantation. Uh, there's a part on the um, is that the third song that has a long kind of part of that, uh, which I don't like. But um, so there's kind of. The album doesn't float very well for me yet, uh, but as I said, it, it's growing on me, and, and there's a lot of cool stuff here. But I'm, I'm not sold on it, um, and it, it is a kind of an album I think you have to spend some time with, and, um, and it's weird. As I said, you get everything from heavy, slow death metal, and uh, you know, prog rock elements as well. And uh, I have no problem with prog rock at all, but. Uh, I'm not sure that it fits together like this. Um, but there are nice sections, but uh, yeah. Go and check out for yourself. I'm, I'm kind of torn with this album yet, but um, you never know. Uh, then I went on to, um, as I said, all this is Blood Harvest stuff, so... Uh, lost the Obitrip, but who cares? Uh, Bones. Uh, I showed the new album uh, a couple of videos ago, which is a crusher of an album. So I, I went back and bought the um, EP. It's only two songs, so they could have done a seven inch on it, but uh, they choose not to. But uh, this is great as well. Uh, this came out in uh, 20 or something. As I say, this either so um, another timeless piece. But yeah, go and check out Bones. Great, great stuff from Belgium. Uh, this is called Gate of Knights. Very cool cover as well. So uh, yeah. Check it out. And the last one is a... Uh, well, it's at least a familiar uh, vocalist. Uh, I do have this on CD, but uh, he had uh, this for a very low price on vinyl, so I... Do it in Bone Knower Cannibal Crematorium. Cam Lee on vocals uh, sound a lot like um, Massacre. Um, don't uh, know the rest of the band here because they have uh, names like uh, Cannibal Cam and uh, Morbid Morgan, uh, Regurgitated uh, RB and uh, Rancid Ronnie. Don't know them. Uh, probably know them uh, if I've seen uh, them before but uh, you know if you like um, Massacre uh, this is a, a good one to pick up I, I really like this album it's it's no nonsense it's kind of the you know Florida death metal like in 94 um, this came out in 15 I'm sure a lot of you have heard this because of Cam Lee and uh, if not yeah, go check it out because it's a uh, it's a pretty good album, in my opinion, and it's my channel, so my opinion counts. Uh, yeah, that was all I had for the uh, haul from um, Blood Harvest. I really like that label. As I said, uh, the Gutvoid um, vinyl is due to be released, I think, in mid-November. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, go and check out on their um, uh, Bandcamp site or whatever. There will be links up uh, below so you can go check it out uh, for yourself. Thanks as always for watching and uh, commenting and uh, subscribing. Be short. Sure.